Hello friends, welcome back to Learning Points. So we are discussing about the full stack application with Laravel and Angular and we have completed few videos and inside that video we just installed the JWT inside our Laravel application and we are created some components and we just completed the sign up process in the last video. So here you can see the database. So these are the users we added inside our application and now the thing is we need to do the login process so i will recommend you if you don't see the previous video please see from the playlist the link are provided in the description section so now we're going to log in so last day we have created the sign up process and in the third times we are entered the perfect data before that we used the wrong password that means the raw password so i'm just deleting these things because it will the garbage data actually it will never authenticate so i'm just deleting these things all right so only one users are here that is the show email.com and the password is i know that is the one two three four five six so let's try to log in with this credential and if the password or username or email is not matches then show a simple message the email or password not matches right so simple process so just go to the login and now inspect these things so now if i just click on this if i just go to the network section or you can just go to the console section simple if i just add any email that is test email and let's use some password so let's submit so we are getting these things actually these are the console log from the sign in component that is the login component so if you just go inside the visual studio code here you can see back end and front end inside the back end we have laravel application inside the front end we have angular application so just go src and app inside the components we have the login component so this login component is responsible for the login so i just console log this from okay so we need to call the service so just go to the service that is the services inside the service folder and this is the backend service.ts okay so let's create another function just like sign up so let's create another function is login right and just remove the sign in so login and the url also is login so if you just go to the back end and inside here this is the back end side so just go inside the routes so we have a login link right so i'm just just removing this link into here right so i don't want to use this so this is the login so here we can use with the api login so login service is ready now we need to create the login component.ts so we need to call these things so so for this we need to call the service so here my service name is backend service so just import the backend service so right here import and the path of the service is from dot dot slash dot dot slash service slash backend service okay so it's added and just add the backend service okay so these are added now we need to use this here so inside the constructor just create a private property that is private and just use the backend colon the backend service okay so inside here we will use the backend to call the backend service so just click here and simple write this before that return this dot backend and we have a login function so this dot backend login and let's pass this that is the this dot from and finally we need to subscribe to call the api so simple just write subscribe okay so all are done and inside here i am just creating an array that is data just print console 
dot log and just pass the data and we will use a error handling function just like we did in the sign up component so so simply write these things this dot handle error and let's create a handler of functions so just to write this and paste this here okay so all are done now the thing is here there will be the error so just declare these things so public error and by default this will be null okay so all are right now the thing is if i just go inside the back end and just go here app http controllers auth controller so we are just going to call this sign up so here we are passing the error so just write here the error okay not errors so all are set now just i am trying to log in so simple just here write abcd at the rate email dot com and one two three four five six so just submit this so this is the unauthorized so why this is unauthorized so let's see the problem so this is unauthorized because the email or password is not matches basically this unauthorized is coming from here so simple here we can write failed email or password is not matches right and if i now just go again and check this so we can see the field email or password not matches but as a user how we can understand what is the actual problem or what is the error so we need to display these things here so how we can we display this so just go into the login component dot html and here we are using the property that is the error so you can use this error easily so just close this service for now and just go to the login component dot html and here just display the errors so here simply write alert dot alert danger that is danger so i want to print this as a rate as it is the error and here just add one condition if the error is happened then only it will display otherwise it will hidden so just add the condition and simply write not error right and just print the error here so error okay so all are set now just go here and try to access again a b c d or something email.com which are not present and just use one two three four something and let's get submit so failed email or password not matches okay exactly but if you just try with the proper email and password then see what happened so just email and the password is one two three four five six so submit this so we can see this is the 200 status but here we can see the token so this is actually the barrier token and the experts in 360 basically these are coming from the auth controller right so we are getting the token so we will need this token and we need to carry this token every section when you just put the profile we need to check this whether the token is matches or not so token are generated that means we are logged in now we need to do in the next video we're going to do the profile section and we'll see the next step of this video so please comment if you have any queries about this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day